Hey guys, so I know that we said um, in our baby shower video that we were gonna do a baby shower haul. I went through everything. <laughs> Should have went through everything on video, but I didn't. I separated everything because I wanted to start washing things. Um, so I'll take you into the baby's room, which is a hot mess right now because there's so much stuff in there and the box for the crib is in there. The crib isn't put up yet. Um, but I will just go through a lot of the things that uh, we received for our baby shower. But first, first, um, Target does this baby box and it's not every month, it's like once in a while. Just like they do like their beauty subscription box. Their beauty box I think is like $10 um, whenever you order it. But their baby box is only like $5 and you get so much stuff and you get a $10 off coupon um, of like a $50 purchase. So let me just show you what I got in the baby box that I just received today. And then see, this is the coupon. And the coupon is for $10 off a purchase of $50 or more, which is great. I mean, hey, it's free money, right? And then this is what comes in um, the box. And then on the back of where the coupon is, it just gives you a breakdown of everything that comes in the box. And there's always something for the mom. So the thing that is for me is the um, Honest Company Lavender Hand Sanitizer Spray, which I'm really excited for and I will definitely be using that. And then we also got some um, Baby Dove Body Wash, which is, I think this, like the Dove Baby stuff is like, uh, is newer. Um, and then we got Cetaphil Baby Wash and Shampoo. Um, we got a uh, diaper rash ointment. That's a pretty big size. It's two ounces. That's pretty big. We also got a Avent Pacifier. Um, a Mustela, what is this? I think it's lotion. Yeah, baby lotion. We got seventh generation wipes. That's a pretty generous size. How many come in here? 30 wipes. That's not bad. And then also got um, Method uh, laundry detergent for 10 loads. What? I'm totally using that. Totally going to try out like all of this stuff. And this box was only $5. Isn't that amazing? For $5? Uh, yeah. I buy it every time they send me an email because it's like, heck yeah, if I can try all these things for just $5 and if I like it, then it'll eventually like, you know, persuade me to purchase it. Oh, heck yeah, I'm going to keep doing it. And then today in the mail also, now, here's what I find like, here's what I find like odd. Like I plan to breastfeed, I mean, God willing, if I can. But I plan to breastfeed. Um, I mean, if I can't, there's nothing wrong with formula, of course. Like, you know, I was brought up on formula or whatever was out back then in the 80s. Um, but I never signed up, uh, like, for Infamil. And I received, like, a box of Infamil stuff. I think it might have been, um, I think it may have been from when I signed up at motherhood uh, for I forget what it was I think it was like their mailing list or something like that and they signed me up for it which I'm not mad at but look at all this stuff they sent it says hello baby and then just like all that stuff and then it gives you like coupons it gives you like you know all these like coupons and stuff like ten dollars off five dollars off so that's not bad and then in the box comes I think this is like a box of six of the little mini uh, bottles of formula and then a container of the gentle ease formula two nipples to go on these little bottles um, and then just like some more little packets of uh, some different type of Infamil, Aspire, I mean Inspire and Premium formula. Isn't that cool? 
Like, what? I mean, hey, it's free stuff. I'll take all the free stuff I can get. And if I can't breastfeed, you better believe I'm probably gonna be using this stuff. Okay. Now, let's get to the baby's room. It's a mess. In here is all stuff that I have washed already, that I washed this week. And it is just like some muslin blankets, some, uh, what are these called? Bed sheets. Don't make fun of the way I fold these things. No one knows how to fold them. And if you do, you are a special gifted person. Um, and then some, a uh, bunch of like burp cloths, um, and like little like, you know, flannel like swaddle blankets, some more blankets. Um, I think down here is like cloth diapers. I mean, I won't be using them as diapers. I'll be using them more as like burp cloths. And then down at the bottom is like bibs. I have a bunch of washcloths in here. Some other swaddlers. Um, and this is all stuff that we received from our baby shower. Like, holy cow. And I didn't even finish washing all of the stuff. Um, but everything in here is clean. And then we got a bunch of towels and washcloths. Like, holy jeez. I mean, thank God we don't have to really buy anything right now. And then here, it's just like... This one I purchased. This is a changing pad cover. And then like the little part where the arrows are. You see it? The little part where the arrows are, it's wipeable. So I was, when I saw that, I was like, uh, yes, I'm buying that. Another blanket from one of my coworkers. So now here are a few gifts that we received. So this is a baby bag from my sister. Um, another diaper bag that we got from my from my cousin. These two are some that my husband will definitely be using because I know he doesn't want to be using the girly ones that I will be using because I'm sure I will not be carrying a purse. We got a uh, changing pad. Here are the rest of the blankets and stuff that <laughs> I still have to wash. So here's another sheet that we received. Another super cute sheet. This one is so cute. And then just a couple more blankets. This one was from my grandma, my sweet, sweet grandma. So soft. This one was from one of our friends. She did like a whole basket of uh, goodies and clothes for the baby. And this one is so soft too. Another soft blanket that matches uh, bed sheets that we got. Um, another blanket. I haven't washed, yeah, this is all stuff I still have to wash. And then another blanket that matches like the changing pad. I'm so excited for all of these. They're all just so cute. And then, so now down here, this is a, another diaper bag that I received for my shower at work. Um, but I decided since it was pretty big to start using it as my hospital bag. So I started to pack it. I mean, it's packed pretty crappily. Maybe I'll do a what's in my hospital bag video. Um, so what I didn't mention was that I found out this week that, um, I will be getting a C-section. Um, so the reason I'm getting a C-section is because I have a fibroid in my uterus that's starting to block my cervix. So because of that, um, they're pretty sure that it, uh, the fibroid won't allow me to dilate or let the baby pass through. So, hey, I bet I'm fine with it. I'm, you know, I, my birth plan from the beginning, I didn't really have a birth plan. But my birth plan from the beginning was whatever it takes to get this baby here safe and healthy is what I will do. And if it takes getting a C-section, I'm fine with that. Um, I'm sure I'll probably get like a little bit more nervous as it comes, you know, like closer to the due date. Um, but right now, I'm not nervous. I'm excited. We know how many more weeks. We have about like five more weeks. Um, yeah, about like five more weeks until I'm 39 weeks. So my OB said that when I turn 39 weeks is when they will do my C-section. They don't let you go to 40, which I'm fine with because that means he'll be born in August instead of September, which is cool because which means that when he's older, he won't get pushed back. Um, he won't get pushed back from 
like in like in school um, so I'm excited about that and and then if you wanted to have a pool party when he's older the pools will still be open so lucky these are like all the books that we received from the baby shower if you can see in here there is like books for days and it's like it goes more and more in and I am so happy because we we requested that people sent you know gave us books instead of cards and you know just wrote their messages in the books and I think it's just the sweetest thing because a lot of them a lot of people did write in them and I love it because now you know when we read them to the baby and you know when the baby when he gets older we'll be able to tell them we'll be able to tell him who uh, who gave us the book you know who the book is from so now over here we just got some wipes a pack of diapers another little pack of diapers another small pack of diapers that I had purchased and then I was so excited for this we got a baby Catan because I do plan to baby wear and I'm sure my husband would love to do that as well we also got an ergo baby which we won't be able to use really until the baby's just a little bit older. Um, so that's probably like 12 to 45 pounds, which is cool because I mean, with the baby Catan, we'll be able to wear we'll be able to wear him sooner than later. And then we also got this cute thing, a little uh, blooming bath to wash the baby in the sink. And we got a boppy. And then we got this like travel system that's like a little. Uh, sleeping box kind of and then it turns into also like a play mat so like whenever we go to like somebody's house or if we're going somewhere or we're outside or whatever we can just put the baby in that and that'd be pretty cool from there we also got a super cute um like little night light and a sound machine and then we also got this super cute light let me let me turn it on how freaking cute is that? It looks like Christmas. My favorite holiday, which will be the baby's favorite holiday because I said so. We also got this, and this we just have to put some batteries in. This will go on his dresser. I think it's just super cute. Oh, and ooh, we got a lot of clothes. Let me show you. So starting from newborn all the way through 12 months. This is not all the clothes I've received. This is just all the clothes that was on hangers. Like, holy shiza balls. That's a lot of clothes. Yeah, a lot of the stuff we just, I just put it in, in the drawers. I need to fix the drawers. Don't judge me. I was really tired. But yeah, I mean, he has so much clothes. And I'm so grateful that he has so much clothes. I only bought just like a few outfits myself, not even outfits, I just bought a few onesies and I'm just grateful that he got so much clothes. I think he needs pants though. I don't think he really got any pants, but according to my husband, uh, he's a baby. What does he need pants for? They need pants. They will get cold. Okay, so I think that wraps it up for this video. I know it was kind of all over the place. Um, and. I really didn't show like everything that we received because it's just like so spread out in the room and the room is a hot mess right now. I really need, we really need to like go through it and clean it. I have one more week of work left, technically three working days, um, and then I will be staying home for the rest of the time and I am not going back to work. I will be uh, staying at home with the baby. Um, so. I have a list of things that I want to get done before the baby comes like I want to declutter the kitchen I want to declutter the bathroom I want to clean out the rest of the stuff in the baby's room declutter our room it's a lot of stuff so I think if I can get at least one to two things done a week before the baby gets here I think we'll be in good shape and I think I'll feel better like I'm in total nesting mode like for real so yeah so Thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure that you give this video a like. Um, so the little thumbs up button down there. Push the thumbs up button. Um, and if you have like any questions or anything about um, either me having to do a C-section or anything about like IVF, 
um, just leave it down in the comments below. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys next video.